still feel like you're executing an idea and it makes you feel less guilty because I feel guilty when I'm not doing anything so uh, Gary V is a good motivator there's there's other guys but people judge you like Grant Cardone there's a lot of people that don't like him but he's he's very energetic and you know Dan Dan Locke for example he was um, he was good because he he's just given like value of stuff he's learned but then his business practices I don't like at all and then Dan Penner, I just love Dan Penner because he's so honest and he's just so brutal. And, you know, I would love to have the same meeting as Dan Penner and just shout at people in a respectful way. But it, he does take it too far and he does talk a load of nonsense. But I think he's amazing either way because he just abuses everyone. And I think there's no more honesty than abusing people. And I, and I mean that in a, a, in a non-personal way. Like instead of sugarcoating everyone and saying how wonderful they're doing, you know, give everyone a bit of tough love. He's like the grand, he's like the angry grander that, that some people didn't get. Marathon of an interview, so I appreciate you sticking around. The flying, flying ants are enjoying yeah, it. You've got about 300 mosquitoes above your head right now. They're, they're, they're male ones waiting for females to fly past. <laughs> they're trying to get laid while I'm getting interviewed. <clears throat> so moving on swiftly. How would you scale the advantages and disadvantages of being an entrepreneur? Well, how would you scale? Well, the, the advantage is, is um, you know, you could look at your lifestyle. You know, people always talk about money in entrepreneurship, but for me, it's not about that. It's about having choices, you know. I, I had a car rental business and I had seven cars to choose from. Some, sometimes they weren't rented out. So what I did, um, it made me realize that having more than one car is stressful so basically i would never have more than you know two or three cars so entrepreneur entrepreneurship's taught me a lot i've been able to travel because my time's free and then also i get invited to things because of who people see me as as on their level sometimes so like even if it's someone super rich as a ceo of a company they'll pay attention to me because they like my mindset so it, it opens tons of doors for me, but at the same time, you've got a burden. Join, join the happy time. People are envious of um, entrepreneurs. And right now, join COVID, people are getting their ass kicked and they're getting their ass handed to them. So now is a time when entrepreneurs are getting a good beating. I'll just try and ignore them because it's going to be annoying for people watching. There's hundreds of them on me. You let me know when you want to relocate or call it for another time. I've you, never seen it. You like can stop it. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, cheers. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I've never seen Their wings are coming off and they're walking all over me. Yeah. I know, I've got. Yeah, why are the wings coming off? Look. I didn't even touch them. Okay, I'm thinking. You think they'll go away or do you think uh, that's no. it? It's like the, it's very different. I remember in the UK, there were certain conditions in the summer when loads of flying ants would come out. They'd be like dominating over one night, only one day. Do you think we could walk and talk or not? I'll tell you what, they follow you, them, for a start, above your head. It's really weird. They just follow you. That's a, that's a video in itself. Look, they followed you. Then maybe these ones follow us as well. They follow me because they know a female is going to come and bite me in a minute. It's ridiculous. This is like a plague. Complain to the shop owner. <laughs> you reckon they hate the light? Oh, that's crazy. Is, is that about halfway, was it? We were getting there. Do you want to do it either half another day or you yeah, want to? Let's do that. Alright, let's go.